guess what? I already have a nude. Hey everyone, if you are experiencing FOMO as much as I am, and if you are also on an extreme low buy, a no buy, or frankly just have way too many products in your collection, to jump on that train and pick up the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette, then this video's for you. If you are a makeup lover, I'm sure that's why you stopped by my channel. Thank you. Uh, you probably already own numerous Natasha Denona palettes, as well as the uh, ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. If so, then you already have in your collection similar shades in order to put together an eye look that will be similar not the same, but very similar to the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Because let's face it, we all already have a nude. And before I get anyone commenting, yes, I've seen numerous people review the palette, show it side by side, and the shades in the new I Need a Nude palette are not exact to any of the shades in the existing palette. However, there are similar tones, textures, shimmers and enough similarities where hey at the end of the day for those of us missing out we can put together a very similar eye look now does this mean i'm never going to pick up this palette uh no as soon as it goes on sale or during the sephora vib sale i very likely will pick it up but at this point in time shortly after the release i'm on a very strict low buy i'm actually saving up to really hit the Labor Day sales hard, as well as Black Friday. So if you're in the same boat I am, this video is for you. Hopefully I can inspire you to shop your stash and see what palettes you already own that can produce a look inspired by Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude. This here is the mini Ayana palette. I got this in, I wanna say BoxyCharm. There are a couple shades in here that I think will bode well. The Retro palette does not have as many shades as you would think. However, I'm thinking this shimmer and possibly this brown shade. The Retro Glam palette also not too many shades, but I'm thinking this one, this one, and possibly this one. And I'll be mixing and matching, blending, 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 and again, this will not be an exact dupe, but I think we can come very close to an eye look that will be inspired by the latest Natasha Denona palette. The Glam Face palette, the only shade is possibly this one here. I know in the new Natasha palette, there's kind of a peachy-ish shade. The last palette is this one here from ColourPop, Going Coconuts. This definitely has some of the tones, um, but maybe not the shimmers. Last is this single shadow from Il Maquillage, the Color Boss. And this one is a really nice kind of shimmery, taupey brown. And when it swatches out, it is definitely giving me vibes of a shade that could be combined with something else that would help with the eye look. All right, let's get started. All right, I've zoomed on in. Let's first do some swatches. All right, so starting here, we have two shades from the Retro palette. Next over are two shades from the Ayana palette. Here we have three shades from the Retro Glam palette. Here we have two shades from the Glam Face palette. Here is a single swatch from the Il Maquillage Single Shadow. And down here are four shades from the Going Coconuts palette. These are just shades I pulled out on my own from seeing swatches online of the new Natasha Denona palette. These are the shades I think best represent the tones and types of shades that would be in that palette. None of them are exact dupes. We're simply going for a vibe with similar tones and shades so that I can inspire anyone out there who has yet to pick up the latest and greatest palette from Miss Natasha Denona. I'm going to start with this soft kind of peachy shade from the Glam Face palette 
and get that in my crease. There are two shades in the latest Natasha Dona palette that kind of have a similar vibe. They're the warmest tones in that palette and these kind of inspire me. Plus, what a beautiful shade. I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but my eyes are already primed using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm now going to go in with this shade here from the Ayana palette and deepen up the outer corner. Ooh, that is quite powdery. And I'm also going to drag whatever remains underneath my lower lash line. Ooh, that's a pretty color as well. You see, we don't need to rush out and buy that $69 palette, even though, oh my God, I would kill to own it. I'm trying to help not only you, but myself realize it's okay. We have makeup in our collections. We don't need to hurry out and spend the money, even though we all want it. We all want it. I want it at least. But I'm going to hold out strong and use what I got. I'm now going to go into the Retro Glam palette into this shade here called Jazzy. And this is, I don't know how you describe it. It has a little bit of shimmer, but it's not super glimmery. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner and just kind of get a little bit of something going here. Oh yes, that is really pretty. It's, uh, what would you call that kind of a shade? It's got a shimmer, but it's not super glimmery or, but it is nice, you know. Now for an actual full-on shimmer, I'm going to go into this shade here called Jude, and this is from the Retro palette. This is for sure giving vibes of the latest palette. It's a very nice, taupey, bronzy, but not too golden shimmer shade. I'm just going to take my finger and get that right in the center of the lid. Beautiful. I'm just going to take a brush and blend everything together. Oh my goodness. I didn't end up using the Going Coconuts palette for the eye look, so it's all Natasha Denona-ish, but I think I'm going to take this shade and uh, pop it on my brow bone because your girl here likes to have her brow bone shimmer and pop from outer space and honestly in the new Natasha Denona palette I don't know that there was a shade light enough there might have been if so this is the one we're gonna use now I'm gonna go into this Il Maquillage single shadow this is the color boss in the shade 959 News Flash. I'm gonna take a small brush and just hit the very, very outer corner just to really kind of deepen that up and just a little bit, just a little wee spin of the brush here. I really like the outer corner to be super deep. And that just really makes my eyes pop, I think. Okay, get that there and drag a little bit just in the outer, outer corner of the lower lash line. And marry everything. Okay, that is as good as it's going to get. Let me pop off line, fix up my hair, touch up my mascara, add eyeliner, and reveal the final look. All right, here is the final look. Keep in mind, I am not an Emmy way. I am only a makeup enthusiast, but let me know your thoughts. And also, have you picked up this palette yet? I really want it. I don't want to be dissing on the palette or having anyone who picked it up feel bad. This honestly is for 
everyone out there who really wants it but for whatever reason can't pick it up. I'm hoping all of you who can't pick it up can be inspired to look through your existing makeup collection and find similar shades so you can put together a similar look. But now I want to hear from you. Have you picked up the palette? And if so, how close did I get to creating an eye look that would come from the new palette? If you have not picked up the palette yet, let me know if you will be. And if you will be passing, let me know if I've inspired you to go through your existing collection and try to put together a similar look. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you can do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.